Well, good morning everyone, it's Joe at Jast here again in the workshop with you and it's Saturday morning, the weather is lovely. Uh, this is a Range Rover Sport, um, the fault with this one is the customer says we've got a yellow suspension warning light, uh, we have the red suspension warning light occasionally and when we get the red suspension warning light we get a suspension lowering message and a max speed 30 miles an hour message. Uh, all on the dash. Um, sometimes if you turn the car off, turn the car on, it'll be absolutely fine. Uh, sometimes if you carry on driving, it will it'll be absolutely fine. Um, what we have here is, for once, it's not a wiring fault. Hooray! Um, we've actually got a height sensor fault, as in that's what the problem is. Um, this, the height sensor is at fault. Um, if we read fault codes, we get uh, kind of nondescript really, we get a height sensor out of range fault, which could be uh, a wiring fault, it could be a height sensor fault, and we get a um, an cross articulation fault as well, which again, all that's saying is that the measurements from one side to the other side of the car don't, don't stack up, they don't make sense. Um, uh, if we go on the 4x4 menu on the, on the centre screen, you can sometimes see the near side rear height sensor reading uh, going up and down, uh, even when the car is stationary. And we're going to have a look why that is and why it's a height sensor fault and not a wiring fault. So, surprise, surprise, it's Pico time, Pico on screen. Uh, I'm going to try and make it so you can see that without my uh, reflection too much or without the, the ceiling reflecting too much. Uh, but actually, the reflection from outside is much brighter, so you might be stuck with this. Anyway. Pico, we're only looking at one channel, blue channel, which is first channel over here. Uh, on our blue channel, we've got the ground going all the way off to the vehicle battery. Uh, and we have on the floor uh, this back probe. Um, and it goes on the floor again. Uh, if you look at the screen, if I kind of touch the end, this is how sensitive Pico is. Um, and we're looking down at around zero volts. And if I touch it and wiggle it, uh, you can affect that voltage, affect that reading. Uh, that's the sensitivity that we're talking about here. So, there's our height sensor connector. You can see someone's already been in here doing a wiring repair. Uh, but as I say, this is not a wiring fault. This is a height sensor fault. And um, we're going to prove it. Um, we've got our three wires in there. Uh, yellow, blue and red. Um, red on this one is actually earth. So I'm going to go in that one first. Get that in there. And you can see we've got a good earth reading. Our earth is very close to zero. zero. I'm just gonna wait till it refreshes. Uh, press stop. And then drag our cursor down from the top and give us a rough idea of what. <laughs> that's about in the center of the blue uh, and that's 12.58 millivolts. Uh, anything, uh, and we would pretty much say anything less than 100 millivolts is a good earth, or at least nothing to worry about yet. So we've got a good earth, which is good. Uh, yellow on this one is should be our 5 volt reference voltage. So I'm going to go in there next. Just get Pico capturing again. Just make sure we're in there properly. So there you can see we're somewhere up near 5 volts. I'm just going to let the page refresh again. And pause it and once again we're gonna drag our cursor down from the top about in the middle of the blue and as I say this is a 5 volt reference uh, so it should be 5 and we've got 4.96 uh, again that's a good voltage just to prove that it's not a feed voltage I'm gonna come in here Wiggle all our wires, and there's the reflection that we're on about. So wiggling, 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 nothing goes on. Um, we've got a good stable five volt reference. Next one, so we've got feed. We've got our five volt reference in the yellow. We've got a ground in the red. The other one is our signal. So the signal is blue. Get the probe in there. 
get the wire out of the way, because next we need to play around with this. This is our actual height sensor arm that moves up and down with this suspension arm. So as the wheel goes up and down and the height changes, this arm goes up and down and this link rod and then the kind of that rod round there or the arm down there goes up and down um, as our suspension moves up and down, which we want to see, what we want to see. So with the arm all the way at the top, we get a very low voltage. I'm going to try and make this obvious. I'm going to push this down and you'll see what happens on the screen. As I push it down, we go all the way up to the top. I'm going to do that again because it didn't really make sense because it went zero again. So start at the bottom, all the way up to the top. And you can see there we start at the bottom, low voltage, we go all the way up and we get high voltage, roughly 4.6-ish or 4.5, 4 which is about right for our for the maximum. Um, but you might have noticed it on that last screen, what we got was a proper jaggedy reading in the middle of when we went up, about there. Well, that's not me, I'm just moving it up smoothly. I'm going to do it again. Moving the arm down, 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 down. Jagged a reading, carry on going down. So, that's our fault. Uh, and again, I'm not touching any wires. Uh, we know that we've got a stable five volt reference. Uh, we know we've got a good ground. Um, the fault is that jaggedy bit as we move the height sensor. And I'm gonna do it again. There. That's not me moving it. That's it doing it all by itself. I'm going to try and put the height sensor in that exact position. I didn't move it on at all. That, <laughs> that bit there, there, that's a dodgy height sensor. That's a height sensor issue, not a wiring fault or anything else. It's a height sensor issue. I'm moving this height sensor literally this much. And that's what's on the screen. If I go off that dirty bit and I move it up and down slightly, you get a nice reading, exactly what you'd expect to see. Let's go find that dirty bit again. About there. If I move it up and down here, you get all of that noise noise in the circuit. So that's our fault to height center. Height center is here, held on with one bolt and another bolt around the corner. A uh, new one comes with a new arm and a new link rod. Uh, and we don't need to do any wiring because it's a height center issue. I'll show that for you one more time. So free start with the link with the rod all the way at the top. Go down, there's our dirty bit there. I'll just try and capture one on the screen. In fact, what we'll do is, because Pico is amazing, we'll stop it and we'll go back through one previous screen, another previous screen, another previous screen. Let's get one of our first ones that we did. There, let's look at that one. So I'm gonna press our zoom button That's what we get. We get moving the link rod gently upwards. It hits a damaged or a corroded or whatever bit of track and then carries on moving upwards. This area, that's what's giving us the fault. We go from giving us a stable suspension reading. So let's say our height sensor is sitting here, or about here. Uh, the suspension goes over a bump and you get this. And then obviously it comes off, off the bump again potentially and we're up here or we go back down here but every time we go over this bit this height we get this if you imagine the car is level and the other the height center the other side is reading this but the one at this side the, sorry the other side is over here and the one at this side is doing this that's why we get a cross articulation fault because the heights or rather the voltages from one side to the other don't match or they're they're well, what would you call it? Implausible, I guess. You can't have one over here and one over here. Uh, particularly when the, f the front two, for example, are also being sensible and sitting around here. 
So near side rear height sensor requires replacement. Doesn't take that long. Doesn't even take that long to prove it. That's a 10 minute video <laughs> with a lot of uh, me talking, a lot of proving the same thing over and over and over, but Range Rover Sport, near side rear height sensor, faulty. Thank you, Pico. Just Land Rovers. See you later.